can't find the one you should never give her up hi guys welcome back to the channel today is the second video that i'll be making today i'm also going to be reviewing another lightning lotion and the lotion that i'll be reviewing today is the silka papaya lotion they also have soap and i think oils as well i've used their soap their soap is amazing anything that has papaya naturally always good on my skin and i noticed anything that has carrots don't even go there <laughs> Carrot and my skin are not friends in any way, shape, or form. So that's one thing I want to advise. The first advice I want to give in this video is try to know what ingredient your skin likes and try to know what ingredients your skin hates. And that way you save money and time on products that you buy. Okay, so to today's video, Silka Papaya Lotion is a whitening lotion that has SPFs of 6 now um i know you guys some people might be alarmed saying whitening on the packaging like eh so this will bleach me no yes i know it's written whitening lotion and it is marketed as a whitening lotion but the truth is this if you buy silica papaya lotion it takes a while for you to start to see results from the product probably a good use of maybe one month before you see full results from it and then subsequently it takes like it's a gradual process with the silica papaya lotion so do not be alarmed that silica papaya lotion <gasps> whitening oh my skin is just going to become white no it doesn't work that way and it has really interesting ingredients that are really really helpful to the skin number one it contains niacinamide mm, vitamin b3 which is very very good like it gives it's like a skin defense it helps your skin defends your skin against um getting certain reactions or setting conditions on your skin like it helps to defend your skin against like pimples reaction due to environmental conditions and you know niacinamide is a very 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 good um ingredient it works like vitamin c like same effect that you might get from a vitamin c is what you would also get from niacinamide it also contains salicylic acid i do not joke with salicylic acid because i realize something like the older i get the more i get into my late 20s the more i realize that it is harder to actually get a clearer complexion i don't know like my hormones are just everywhere so i break out like crazy so i do not joke with salicylic acid salicylic acid as it has been so helpful so any product that has salicylic acid please give me because it helps me exfoliates my skin and it helps my skin not to break out and if it does it helps heal my breakout quick quick do you understand so salicylic acid is also a plus for this particular lotion then another major point which i think i should also uh, put light on is that it contains spf of six although small but it's an effort like no slightening lotion you cannot over emphasize the fact that spf is extremely important when it comes to lightening anything that makes you begin to work on your skin the, like anything that makes you begin to brighten your skin your skin becomes more sensitive to the sun and heat. So naturally, you should actually use something to shield the lightning that you are doing, which in this case would be an SPF. Not just because you are lightening your skin. SPF normally is very good because it helps to kind of like reduce the effect that you might have gotten from exposure to UV light, right? So SPF is very good for lightning. So for these people to even make an effort to put SPF of six is not bad, but doesn't mean that you shouldn't go to the extra, you shouldn't do extra yourself. Like you need to get yourself sunscreen to increase, you know, the protection. You need at least about 25 or 30 percent of SPF for you to have the full coverage that you need and you are sure that, okay, I'm protected no matter the lightning I'm doing whenever I go out in the sun that's another plus for this particular lotion another plus for this lotion again is the price point it is a very 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 affordable lotion it ranges between 2000 to 3000 naira in the market right now so it's a very very affordable lotion that anybody can actually get so another good side of the lotion is that it moisturizes it is a very very good moisturizer but during the dry season that we're in right now we still advise that you mix oils into it in case you have extreme dry skin because you cannot compare the level of your dry skin with another person i have dry skin but mine is not so bad it doesn't really affect my skin so much but it affects like my palm and you know the sole of my feet and my lips yeah 
so um, if you have extremely dry skin the moisturization might not be enough for you you might need to add other things to you know give your skin the, the, the moisturizing and the softness that it needs so that it doesn't tear for the side effects I've seen some people who complain that it gave them dark knuckles but most of the people that have noticed that their knuckles became darker the people that stayed in areas where the environmental condition doesn't favor using that kind of thing at all especially if you're living like in Lokoja or Kano or Gogolada in Abuja <laughs> You have to be careful because these weather are not really friendly for any lightning products at all. So I've seen people that complain that they have they had dark knuckles, and some of these people too are dark skinned people. I don't understand how you go to a cosmetic store and you know you are very black. We are all black, I'm a black woman, but we have different shades of black. Like you are the lower spectrum of the shade of blacks, and then you enter into a store. I'm not saying this to offend anybody, please. I'm sorry, but you enter into a store and you see a lightning or a whitening product and then you buy it like what do you expect <laughs> buy products that suit your skin shade silka papaya lotion is it good for the face yes it's tolerable on your face um everybody i've known that used it is they used all over their body and it was fine they use on their face but always do a patch test to be sure that your skin or your face likes it another thing again i want to say is silka papaya also works for men because sometimes you find lightning products work on women and the men use it and they don't get the same result because their skin are tougher no matter how tough your skin is the silka papaya actually works but you have to be patient it takes time it doesn't work immediately it doesn't mean you would not have noticeable result like you begin to see it like okay ah my skin is changing but it will not change overnight and it does not excessively lighten your skin so do let me know if there's something else you would like me to say in case you are hearing noise is my fan my fan is on because the windows and everywhere is closed because of noise i have neighbors i live with human beings and you know human beings they make noise so <laughs> i had to close everywhere so it's really hot in here and all the lights are facing me so please, in case you're hearing noise in the background, it's my fan. So I hope I was able to do justice to this particular video. Do let me know if there's any point that I did not make, anything you would like me to throw more light on. And I'll definitely say it, like pin a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like. I have other videos that I have done tons and tons of reviews in them. So do watch them and you can learn one or two things from my video and don't forget to show your support by liking sharing and commenting Mwah. bye